So hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm just currently showing you the hair that we're going to be bleaching today and it is from none other than Riri Hair. I can actually honestly say after like reviewing three of their wigs now, Riri Hair is my favourite hair company when it comes to pre-made wigs, that is lace front wigs, 360 wigs, everything. The packaging is so sleek, the hair quality is amazing, the wig construction is amazing, the knots come proper bleached. And the frontal comes properly plucked and the lace it's just amazing better than channel lace wigs better than my first wig better than RPG show wigs doesn't mean those companies are not good but if you had to t tell me to like pick my favorite I would definitely be picking Riri hair like they're just amazing so right now I'm just showing you the products that I'm gonna be using to bleach this hair and both the bleach and the product side are from L'Oreal I'm using 30 volume developer and I just thought let me go bougie because usually I would use true zone it's the cheapest one that you find in the hair shop but really and truly guys there is no difference there's no difference at all so next time i'll be using true zone and to dye the hair after i bleach it i'll be using the garnier bell color in the natural dark ash blonde shade that is 7.1 and yeah so to mix the bleach peroxide and powder you just want to get like a custard consistency really and truly like just like imagine how custard is you know custard is kind of thick but it's it's still it flows so you don't want it to be too thick you don't want any lumps any clumps and you don't want it to be too watery either because you want it just to be perfect so me i always go for like a custard consistency and it works out i don't measure it i don't do anything i just eyeball it and i keep mixing it mixing it mixing it mixing it until it's creamy and perfect and then we'll be ready to start bleaching the hair. So to just make things easier for me, I've sectioned off the hair and we're just gonna start working with the back. And let me warn you now, guys like there's no method to it the only reason why i actually recorded myself doing this is because i know someone's gonna ask me for a tutorial when i came on youtube with the hair color i have another video where i'm doing a similar color to this i would say this one is a bit more brown whereas that one had more darker bits but you're literally just imagine how you want it to look and just apply the color like literally yeah okay if i'm gonna say there's any method I do like almost a W shape and then I apply colour a lot on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it, that's the thing. But 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 then to be honest, later on I stopped doing that and I just start doing streaks. So what you just want to make sure you're, that you're doing is you're streaking the dye on, you're streaking the bleach on, but you're not leaving any clumps or any lumps. And where you start, you're not starting abruptly, but you're kind of like feathering it in. So that way, no matter how it looks, no matter how great it goes or how wrong it goes, it's going to look like you've done that on purpose because it's feathered in, it's blended. Whereas if you're just like slapping it on, packing it on, punching it on, then it's just going to look chalky and blocky and unprofessionally done. Even though this one too is unprofessionally done, it doesn't look that bad. In the intro, it didn't look that bad. So yeah, literally, just streak it on there and blend it. That's all it is, is blending, you know, like with makeup. It's just blending. Just watch it, yeah? And if you want it to look how mine looks, you see now I'm doing streaks. Do you know what I'm saying? So before I was doing the W, the W. Now I'm doing streaks, but I'm also, I'm trying to keep the W shape and I'm trying to put a lot of bleach on where I do it. And another tip that you need to have is that when you're dyeing it, make sure that whatever strands you're dyeing, you dye it from where you start to the bottom. So that you don't have a strand of hair that's got bleach in the middle, the top is black and the bottom is black. That's just going to look a hot mess. So I fast forward it now. And as you can see, it streaks, it's streaky. But wherever it has down, it has down it from the top to the bottom, you know? And you just have to like be going through the hair, lift up some pieces. You can see areas that are too dark, add a bit of dye there. Have fun with it. Literally, hair is fun, you know? Obviously, it's easy for me to say that because I didn't pay for the hair. But just have fun with it and enjoy it and take your time. If you take your time, it will come out right. It will come out well, you know? Just take your time just make sure that it, it doesn't start blocky you know and you'll be fine and that's just that's just it so just watch 
and I'll come back if I need to come back. Okay, so now I'm literally just showing you guys the second section that I have parted and I'm going to be doing the exact same thing. Now I'm in the swing of it, so I'm feeling myself, can you see me, I'm just going in like a madman, putting the streaks on, but that's what you have to do. You can see how I'm putting the bleach, but I'm making sure I drag it all the way down to the bottom, because this is the top layer, I can't just be coming and it just looking any anyhow. So just make sure you're dragging it and you're dragging it down from the top to the bottom. You know, even if you start halfway, that bleach needs to go all the way down. Yeah? Make sure. Okay. And it's just literally the same steps that I'm doing. I'm gonna do that throughout the whole head. Like that. And if you can see what I'm doing right now, I'm lifting up pieces to ensure that there's a lot of bleach because I want a lot of this hair to be like that like honey brown. Like I don't want to have dark bits. This is less of a highlight look. This is more of a, like a brown look with higher bits. So right now I'm blending with my hand and this helps also to get the whole hair to go brown because it's like I'm trying to like distribute the bleach everywhere basically without literally dunking the hair in bleach. So yeah, and just keep going, keep going, keep going. Now we're at the important bit, the front. I think I was rushing at this point, but you take your time, you take your time, sis. Like, just take your time and just do it. Same thing, add in the streaks, add in the streaks, add in the streaks, add in the streaks. And now I'm going to let the music play and just watch. But literally, that is how easy it is to get this hair colour. I feel like that's why every time I try to do like a brown hair colour, it always just turns out like this. Because I'm so used to just doing this. But I like it regardless, so yeah, just keep doing it. And I'll be back once it's time to dye the hair. So now it is the time to dye the hair with the Garnier hair colour and I'm holding up three but I'm actually only going to be using two because that's all I really needed and with this yeah just slap it on, punch it on, kick it on like you don't have to use any method you just have to make sure that every piece of hair has bleach on it I mean has dye on it sorry and that is literally it as you can see now the hair is like orange and we want more of a brown you know and this color is a dark ash brown so what it's gonna do is it's kind of gonna tone the hair it's still gonna be this level of color but it's just gonna be more toned down and more cool not too cool because like you know it's not blonde that will be going cool but it's gonna be cooler than this so I'm basically using the hair dye to tone the hair previously I would have used like purple shampoo or something but because the hair is not so light, it just makes more sense for me to use dye on top of it. So as you can see, I'm just trying to make sure that every single strand of hair is covered with the bleach. This is okay if it gets a bit on the lace because it's not purple or red. It's not going to really stay in the lace like that. And that is literally it, guys. In the next couple of clips, you'll be seeing how the hair actually turns out. This hair is amazing. The hair doesn't shed. It doesn't tangle. Ruby hair is good. You know, like, Ruby hair is sick like the hair is expensive but it's really worth it and you know that you're gonna have the wig for a hot sec look how beautiful this is please like ignore my face look at the color look at the highlights look at the low lights but it's all uniformed if you go know i mean i'm just so happy with how it turned out and guys that's just literally the tutorial so i hope you enjoyed it and take care